These are all of the things that you're going to need. Your price sheet, you're going to have to know what you're going to price every single thing. Like, how much am I going to sell these bath bombs for? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to make a profit. If you paid $5 for each bath bomb, you're not going to sell them for $5. Where's the profit, right? How are you going to pay $5 for something and sell it for $5? And even when you pay, like, let's say, for instance, if I paid $5. I didn't, but I'm just throwing a number out. If I paid $5 for this... I'm going to also have to consider how much it costs to ship. So let's just say it costs $3 a ship. That's $8. So five and eight, that's how much I'm paying already to, to purchase and to give to my customer. I need to make a profit and I need to make at least a $5 profit. And really you want to make more than that, but you don't want to overdo it when it comes to certain products. It depends on the quality of your product. These are amazing, has roses inside. These are like luxurious bath bombs. So you can sell them for like $15, but basically off of what I just told y'all, eight and five is 13. So that would be a $5 profit. And if there's anybody in the world who will say, you money hungry off of a five dollar profit they just don't want you to have a business don't listen to them because what type of profit are you really making you know what i'm saying you need to be at like bare minimum bare minimum five dollar profit like come on or per item and that was just an example hey i got the attention i hustle my ass up they starting to listen so rappers don't diss me i creep on the week and you're asking hey royals what's up you guys it's your girl queen araya welcome back to my channels you got channels welcome back to my channels you got i said channels again welcome back to my channel you guys okay so i have decided to do a series for you guys it's um based off of one of my courses that i have one of my online courses it's called start a business from scratch so you guys I have started multiple businesses from scratch. Um, I've helped my son start his business. He has a clothing line and he is about to start a skincare line. Um, he also had a drop shipping business. And so I've taught a lot of people how to start a business from scratch. I have my own business, Great by Design, but it is um, a different kind of business from what I want to do now. Like uh, that, I still wanna do. I'm still a mentor, I'm still a coach. I still help people out with marketing and things like that. But I wanted to start a business of my own, something that is a little bit more hands-on, something that is a little bit more, um, how do you say, like, you know, branded, your own baby, your own thing. So I wanted to do my own thing. Um, and so that's basically what I'm gonna do. So. Like I said, I have these classes where I teach people how to start a business from scratch. And you guys, let me let you know, even though I teach people how to start a business from scratch, when you're starting a business from scratch, you're going to come across problems regardless if you're a professional or not, because every business has different things, different issues. And if you've never been in that business, you're going to come across issues like let's say for instance i teach people how to start businesses all the time right but let's just say for instance now if someone is doing a lip gloss business and then you have another person who all right you guys i had to restart the camera <laughs> so like i said i know a lot about sensitive skin because my son's skin was so so bad i mean he used to get cracks all in the crevices over here behind the ears if you have eczema trust me you know like comment down below if you know the struggle, if you know what I'm talking about, right? So with that being said, I have to use organic stuff, right? Because my son is going to use this stuff because it's in the house. Um, so this is the organic clear mountain pour soap. So this is organic, you guys. And it's made um, from certified organic coconut oil. And it's also made from organic palm oil. So with that being said, and it's kosher and y'all y'all already know if you don't know about kosher find out about the kosher right okay so never made soap before never made lip gloss before never made bath bombs before never made sugar scrubs before never made body butter before but guess what i did it and i did it all in a month because i had decided to do this series for you guys 
like a month ago and when I decided to do the series I started purchasing stuff for the business and I just wasn't recording like a fool so I'm gonna try to break out of that habit you guys y'all know I want to do YouTube more consistently I have so many followers on Facebook but Facebook is kind of like It's so businessy and I want it to be a little bit more fun. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get on Facebook, it's so, so professional. And I'm professional here too, but at least I get to be myself a little bit and talk to you guys a little bit more and act a little bit foolish and things like that because y'all know I'm a weirdo. It's just how I am. But yeah, you guys, so um, briefing. Starting a business from scratch, the first thing you wanna think about is what is it that you wanna do? What kind of business do you wanna run? I've decided to go into the beauty lane and the beauty lane is not necessarily makeup or things like that. You know, you can choose anything from the beauty or almost everything. You can sell lashes, lip gloss, makeup palettes. You can sell anything you want, but I would suggest not to go ham like how I did. I did the most if you ask me. I, but me, like I said, I have a little bit of experience so I tried to utilize that experience by coming up with a collection you know what i'm saying if you have the means do it that's what i'm gonna tell you if you have the means go ahead and do it i have the means so i went ahead and did it and i probably wasted a lot of money on certain stuff that i'm gonna decide against when it's time to launch but oh well you know i will make use of it give it out for gifts or something i'm never wasteful but you guys the first thing you want to do is decide what you want to do. So I've decided I love bath bombs. I'm like obsessed with bath bombs. So why not sell bath bombs, right? So I'm doing bath bombs. I'm doing body butters because when you come out the, the bath, you ashy, right? You ashy. So <laughs> unless you got some kind of magic skin I don't know about, when you come out the bath, you ashy, right? So once you get in the bath, you um, drop your bath bombs in there, you relax, you enjoy yourself. Then you stand up, turn the shower on, you scrub yourself with our amazing exfoliating sugar scrub. After you do that, you come out of the shower and then you rub yourself down with this nice body butter, right? And, and then also, let's not forget, you put the face oil on your face. So we also have hair oil because you guys, I don't know if y'all can see the Wave 360 L. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. but my hair is super curly like super super spiral curly Boom. um and so i use oils in my hair i use a lot of especially because um if you have really curly hair then you're you know like me i'm a fan of the wash and go i mean i get in the shower in the morning i wash and go i just decided i was gonna put it up today because it's hot and i'm tired of it on my neck but I'm, the, I'm a fan of the wash and go and if you got really curly hair like me then you're a fan of the wash and go so I use hair oils in my hair so we also have hair oils I, I'm not going to show you guys that right now because I don't have labels on it and I'm really big on branding um but you guys yeah you just need to start out first things first decide what it is you want to do do you want to sell lashes do you want to come up with a collection like I did like I said when I say a cohesive collection I mean like everything connects with each other like bath body scrub connects with bath um with body butter which connects also with bath bombs which also connects with skin oil for your skin which also connects with oil for your hair because these are all things that you're going to do before during or after you take a bath right so that's a cohesive collection that's what i mean like if you're going to do a collection make sure it matches you're not gonna sell ear pods and body butter and cell phone cases no that's not cohesive like now if you wanted to sell cell phone cases air pods and um chargers and you know i can't think of nothing else phone accessory wise but that's that's a cohesive collection because it's in the same cell phone con you know what i'm saying you got airpods chargers cell phone case that's in the same niche so that could be a collection so you need to basically pick what it is that you want to do decide what it is that you want to do once you've decided what you're going to do come up with a name for your business and do not go with the very first name that you pick out you guys i have a book right here and when i tell y'all i got so many books in here and i done wrote so much stuff down in here and a lot of this stuff i reneged on and what i mean by that is i done came up with names and then was like no i want to change it i want to do this i want to do that so don't go with the first thing because 
you want to give yourself you really want to think on this because this is something that you're not going to change you cannot i can't name my bill my my business bella rose today and then turn around and name it bella rose three weeks from now or bella bella beyond four weeks from now I, you can't do that. You're going to confuse your customers, right? You got to stick with your name. So if you got a stupid name, you stuck with that name, or you're going to have to start from scratch with a brand new business. You're going to have to do a rebrand and rename and all of that. And you don't want to do that. So take your time when you're thinking about stuff. But you guys, when I tell you a lot of this stuff, I didn't even do. Um, a lot of these are calculations. You have to be very organized with this, you guys. Shea butter. This is how much I plan to spend on the shea butter that I use in my um, body butters because I do use shea butter amongst others. I also use mango butter. I have um, a cocoa mango body butter. If you're from New York, you know about the cocoa mango icy. We love them. Mm -hmm. So I, I do have a cocoa mango body butter. <laughs> but um, again, it doesn't have a label on it, so I'm not going to show you guys that one. But um, yeah, so I wrote down all of the butters that I was going to buy, shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, whatever butters, um, whatever oils I was going to buy, whatever pigments I was going to buy, avocado oil, essential oils, whatever color pigments, um, the bath bombs, how much they was going to cost. And I did a summary of how much money I was going to spend, how much was all of this stuff going to cost me right and then once i figured out you guys i have a total business course uh, this is this is my total business course you guys i can show it to you guys my little tiny everything can tell me. my total business course was eleven hundred and eleven hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty four cent look let me see see total business course so this is how much money i spent on all of my materials so far the ones that I've used and the ones that I have yet to use. So, um, and also I went from, that was it. And then I have some other things on here, Amazons and things. You know, I wrote down the things that I, that I purchased. Um, all of the butters, all of the oils. Um, marketing plan. You guys need a marketing plan. You guys need an operational plan. Like, how are you going to operate? You know what I'm saying? You're going to need desk in your room. You're going to need organizers. You're going to need um, a personal finance statement. You're going to need startup expenses. You're going to need a financial plan, a, project, a projected cash flow. <laughs> You're going to need an opening day balance sheet. You're going to need your company goals, you guys. These are all of the things that you're going to need. Your price sheet, you're going to have to know what you're going to price every single thing. Like, how much am I going to sell these bath bombs for? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to make a profit. If you paid $5 for each bath bomb, you're not going to sell them for $5. Where's the profit, right? How are you going to pay $5 for something and sell it for $5? And even when you pay, like, let's say, for instance, if I paid $5. I didn't, but I'm just throwing it about. If I pay five dollars for this, I'm gonna also have to consider how much it costs to ship. So let's just say it costs three dollars to ship. That's eight dollars. So five and eight. That's how much I'm paying already to to purchase and to give to my customer. I need to make a profit, and I need to make at least a five dollar profit. And really, you want to make more than that, but you don't want to overdo it when it comes to certain products. It depends on the quality of your product. These are amazing. Has roses inside. These are like luxurious bath bombs. So you can sell them for like $15, but basically off of what I just told y'all, eight and five is 13. So that would be a, a $5 profit. And if there's anybody in the world who will say, you money hungry, off of a $5 pro profit, they just don't want you to have a business. Don't listen to them. Because what type of profit are you really making? You know what I'm saying? You need to be at like bare minimum, bare minimum $5 profit. Like, come on, or per item. And that was just an example. So yeah, make sure your products are good quality products so people can't really complain because if they if you're selling something cheapy cheapy, then they will talk mess, you know? And you can't blame them because you sell selling something cheapy cheapy. So you need to know the cost of your stuff, how much you paid for it, how much it's gonna cost to ship, and how much you're gonna add to it so that you can get a profit. You need to know how much you want to be paid, right?
um so yeah i listed down all of my everything that it was gonna take for me to do my business right so if i'm gonna be making body butters i need containers right so i brought containers i brought all of the butters i needed i brought all of the pigments that i needed um i even brought the equipment i went out and brought a um a table what do you call it a mixer one of those mixers i forgot what they call it a kitchen aid i brought one of those 200 freaking dollars <laughs> so i can mix these butters right because you need the equipment so um yeah the sugar scrubs was pretty easy to make um the bath bombs i did buy um you know you could go to like the custom wholesale or whatever tell them what you want and they'll send them to you so i brought my bath bombs wholesale you guys you're gonna have to get things wholesale you're gonna have to get um and like i said i have vendors if you guys are interested in the vendors or interested in taking my class on how to start a business you can go ahead and take the class at my website um go to buildtheboss.com www.buildtheboss.com i'll put it across the screen you can take the class you can purchase vendor lists um we have over thousands of vendors you guys and like i said you can take the class or you could just follow my journey here but by the time you follow my journey here, you could have already started. And one of my main things that I say to you guys is don't procrastinate. Now here you're going to get a lot of free value. So definitely, definitely watch the videos because you're going to learn a lot about these knots here. Okay, so definitely, definitely hit the subscribe button if you want these gems, baby. Okay, so yeah, with where was i um yeah you're gonna need to write down all the materials you're gonna need for your business so that includes the containers that you're gonna put your stuff in for instance like i said i'm doing lip gloss now right so i got lip gloss bases in the kitchen i'm not gonna get up and go get it i got syringes because i need the syringes to put the gloss in the um in the tubes right so i got syringes i got i got all the materials that i need for my product and i have all of the materials that i need to make the product and to store the product and i even have um i did my home office and i even have containers in there where i can store stuff so with that being said you guys this is the very first episode of season one of start a business from scratch okay um and it's basically you know like a little spin off to my um course over at buildtheboss.com and we're going to drop you some little gems because, like I said, y'all know me I'm as a marketing um, expert. And I'm going to actually be starting a business from scratch and doing what you guys are doing. Like, instead of having a digital business, which my, my business is mostly digital, I'm now joining the homemade family, okay? So, with that being said, you guys, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, I think I chatted y'all up a bit this video. I wanted to show y'all a little bit more stuff. I got so many unboxings and all kind of stuff. But you guys, we will get to that. I will take y'all through some of my journey on making some of the products. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to make soap for the first time. And You guys, I mean for the first time. But like I said, I've been watching videos on how to make soap. And I retain that information. So um, from what I know, it's pretty easy and simple. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I hope you guys got a lot of gems. If you got a lot of gems in this video, go ahead and drop a gem emoji in the bottom of the comment section, okay? And make sure y'all hit the subscribe bell. The subscribe bell. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video so you guys can get all of these good gems coming your way. This is episode one. See y'all in episode two. Bye. Hey, I got the attention. I hustle my ass up, they starting to listen. So rappers don't diss me. I creep on the weekend.